Hi guys! So, thank you so much to Smart Art who sent me their May box to review. Super excited! And I haven't even opened it yet, so I have no idea what's inside. <laughs> so they told me this was their May box for Smart Art, so I'm going to open it with you guys and see what's in the box. Because I don't even know what's inside for the art projects. I do love their boxes though, they're super pretty and cool and vibrant. Ooh! So let's make sure you guys can see. <laughs> Very cool. So this is Smart Art and they send a box each month. This one looks like it's got some marbling stuff and so oh so we get to do some marbling. That's pretty cool. Oh I love it. And they're showing with the silhouette on top. Just like what we do with acrylic pores, so that's really cool. And then we've got some warm white paper. Let's see what else we got. We got little cards. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Super cute little pin thing. It's like a monkey shape. That's adorable. <laughs> some swirling skews. Smart art sticker. I might put that on my pressure pot. And we got some Durabright. Oh, very cool. Tips and tricks in there, they say. And oh, pretty. Oh, and a little <laughs> lollipop. Some art liners, which are always handy. Love that. Gloves. And we got these beautiful marble paint. So it says Easy Marble marble paint. Wow, that's awesome. It does say it's flammable, so we'll just keep it away from fire, but we've got lots of pretty colors. Look at, we've got blues. These are like dark blue, medium blues. There's some gold, black, and silver. And we've got some nice hot reds. That is super cool. That's almost like the fire and ice video I did. So that's pretty cool that we can play with all of these. Wow, thank you so much, Smart Art. I can't wait to play with these. I'm going to have to set something up and read the instructions, I guess, on what they... Looks like I just need a little container to put them in. So, very cool. And you can even marble on or dip different containers and stuff. So I might pull out some things to try with it and get some stuff ready and then we'll try out this uh, smart art box for May. Okay, so I have gotten a tray and filled it with water and I opened up all these pretty beautiful colors, gave them a good shake because they were saying to really give them a really good shake before using them. So it does say that this easy marbling is toxic so you gotta be careful and so that's why the gloves obviously <laughs> and uh, they give some good pointers like putting the paint close to oops these gloves just ripped that's okay <laughs> we'll get it on there I was pulling too hard so yeah, definitely going to have to wear some gloves when doing easy marbling. But I'm kind of excited because I haven't done marbling in a very long time. You know, I used to use uh, nail polish to do marbling and stuff. Just super fun. So, big thank you to Smart Art. And we're going to try this out. They also gave this Durabrite paper. Which is, they call it a heavyweight, opaque, polypropylene film, durable, mixed media, surface for watercolor, alcohol inks, sprays, and acrylics. So, that's pretty cool. 
I'm going to try that paper out too. And then we got all these fun super colors. Now I got to figure out what colors to do. And when I open one, you know what? Let's go with this dark blue because what is this one? Oh, they call it turquoise. <laughs> Although this one looks more like turquoise because it's aqua green, but I don't know if there's a. Oh, look at that. It's got a little. A little. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh. I guess we just put it on like that. Very different. Oh, you can definitely smell them. <laughs> But this one's called light blue. I don't know if I want light blue. Or let's go with some silver. Definitely do this in a well vented area, guys. That's kind of pretty. Silver and blue always look good together. I don't know why I'm making such a big area of it, but <laughs> silver, blue, because these ones are orange. I mean, we could put orange, but I don't really want it to mix with the blue. So I'm going to do a turquoise. And it looks like you can just, oops, you got to do it close to the surface, otherwise they fall to the bottom. I saw some just fall. This turquoise is really pretty. Definitely smell the paint. <laughs> but uh, I think, and then I can move, I can move it around, I think. Oh, it's already drying on the surface, which is kind of crazy. So if you see, some of it has already dried. So I guess you have to work kind of quickly with this stuff. Uh oh. Well, I'm definitely creating a crazy mess in there. <laughs> Paper towels are your friend. All right, let's grab some paper towels here. So that stuff dried really quickly. I'm guessing there's quite a bit of alcohol in it. But I'm going to try the paper and let's give it a whirl, guys. Which side to use? I don't know. Let me just, there's one sheet. Just going to dip it in. And if that breaks the surface. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it can be quite messy. Let's see, I'm going to pull all this over this way. Actually, that's why they gave these cards that I'm not using very well. Is to They said to pull the extra paint away. Ooh. Ooh, that is super cool. Look at that. That actually turned out really pretty. Now it says these are going to dry like it says after 15 minutes and 24 hours to cure. So that's going to be kind of exciting. I'm going to put that one over there. You can see some of the droplets went right to the bottom. I don't know if I can get them with this paper. So that's kind of interesting that this stuff dries so quickly. There must be quite a bit of alcohol color in it, or alcohol content. I'm just making a huge mess here, but <laughs> definitely fun to try out these easel, easy marblings. Yeah, that is super sticky. Okay, let's try some black. Let's see what we can get here. These are going to be covered. Oh, look at that. That one went super crazy. Some black. What else should we try here? 
I think I might need to get new gloves because these are not working for me. I need my own gloves. <laughs> so I might have to get a pair of my own that I keep reusing. Okay. I'm going to do gold. I think gold would be pretty. So I don't know, it probably dried already super fast. If I can do the do the pokey stick thing. See how quick I can work it. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I don't mind that. Yeah, they dry really quickly. And maybe, you know what, let's do this nice cherry red. Let's try a bit of this. Which is not coming out very much. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. Alright. Although the circles are growing. Okay, let's leave it at that. So that was gold, black, and cherry red. Looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to go back to my own gloves that I'm used to because those other ones are a bit crazy. And I'm just going to drop it in. So, these are the finished marbled pieces I created. Uh, this one was on the Stonehenge paper and actually turned out, I think, better than the other ones that were on the Jurabrite. Because this one was kind of like a plastic. Actually, this one's on the Stonehenge too. And you got some rejection right here, so maybe I wasn't the best at it, but it didn't really cover the whole area. It kind of left these big holes. But still pretty cool overall. This one I like even with the big white holes, because it's almost as though I added white in there. <laughs> um... But these were the ones with the Stonehenge paper, and they didn't get really any holes to separate there, and they looked pretty cool. And these were the ones with the Jura Bright paper. So basically, it was pretty cool to do the marbling. Now, I do have to say, I had to obviously take a break. Um, I would suggest using these outside because the fumes are really strong so it was probably better if I had used them outdoors because they were super strong so I couldn't really do too many because I had to take a break from them but I think with these I could make some cool cards and I can cut some 
like I could cut shapes out and stuff like this one I thought I could cut a cool fish or something out of it for sure and they gave these pens too which you can use to draw on so I'm just gonna test it out and see like this looks like kinda like a little fish eyeball so if I was to draw kind of a fish just really quickly here <laughs> you could cut shapes out of them and use them on cards a whole bunch of different stuff it's kind of a cool pattern and it was definitely different because you could coat different materials instead of just paper with these oh my fish is kinda <laughs> So the pen doesn't work quite as well on this plasticky kind of paper. But there's a fun fish. And you could totally collage them and do different things with them. Here, I'll just show you guys. So you could, I would make cards with it because I think that would be pretty cool. So I could put that on the front of a card. I could maybe draw some flowers in here. One of these pens is like kind of like a you can do like a flower. Lots of different things. So it's a pretty cool set from Smart Art. Although my suggestion would be is if you're going to do the marbling, this is the May box from Smart Art. Definitely do it outside <laughs> in a well ventilated area. I wouldn't use these inside because they were super strong in smell. So, but thank you so much, Smart Art. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody for subscribing, watching, and liking my channel and videos and commenting. I try to write you all back in the comments. I greatly appreciate it. And check out the links below in the description. And thank you so much for using my Amazon links. They, I make a small commission at no extra cost to you, and they help me out greatly. So I really appreciate it, guys. So I hope you guys have fun crafting, and you can check out Smart Art is uh, monthly boxes for art. If you're bored and you need something to do monthly, it's kind of cool. So this is one of the second ones I've played around with. And I hope you guys have fun creating.